You will be discharged from hospital with a medication guide like this. It will tell you what medications you need and how to take them. Medications given through the feeding tube should be in liquid form when this is possible. Some medications are only available in tablet form and therefore will need to be crushed into a fine powder using a pill crusher and mixed with cooled boiled water. Each medication should be given separately and not mixed together. A flush should be given between each one. This will reduce the risk of the tube becoming blocked and medications reacting with each other. Before you start to give any medications through the feeding tube, you will need to gather the following equipment together. You will need a 60ml syringe. You may also need a smaller syringe to administer medications, cooled boiled water, a tablet crusher if needed, medications, a cup or glass, and a medicine pot or spoon or small glass. Now we will demonstrate how to give a liquid medication. Flush the tube using a 60ml syringe containing the recommended amount of cool boiled water by your dietitian. Shake the medicine bottle. Measure the required amount of medication into the medicine pot. If the medicine is thick and sticky, it can be diluted with cool boiled water. Drop the medication using the syringe provided. Attach the syringe to the Y connector. Unclamp the tube using a push pause technique. Gently push the plunger on the syringe until all the medication has been given. If another medication is needed, flush the tube with the recommended amount of cool boiled water and repeat the process of giving the medication. Once all medications are given, a water flush should be given as recommended by your dietitian. Now we will demonstrate how to give a tablet which will need to be crushed. Flush the tube, unscrew the two pieces of the tablet crusher. Place the tablet in the tablet crusher. Turn the crusher lid clockwise until it will not turn any further. Unscrew the tablet crusher. Ensure all the tablet is crushed into a powder. Repeat this process if not. Empty the powder into a small cup or glass and add 10 ml of cool boiled water. Stir well and draw the water into the syringe. Not all medications dissolve easily and you may need to add more water. Attach the syringe to the Y connector and using a push pause technique, gently push the plunger until all the medication has been given. Sometimes there may be sediments at the bottom of the glass. Mix thoroughly and add more water if needed. You may also need to gently shake the syringe whilst giving the medication to prevent sediment sitting at the bottom. If another medication is needed, flush the feeding tube with the recommended amount of cool boiled water and repeat the process of giving the medication. Once all medications are given, water flush should be given as recommended by your dietitian. Clamp the tube, remove the syringe, replace the stopper and unclamp the tube. If the feed is already in progress, stop it by pressing the stop button on the feed pump. Remove the end of the medicine port Attach the syringe to the medicine port on the giving set. Turn the valve to open the port. Flush the tube with the recommended amount of cool boiled water.
water in the pot to close it and remove the syringe. Attach medicine syringe, gently administer the medication and flush the tube. Turn the valve to close the pot and remove the syringe. Press start on the feed pump to restart the feed.